without a plan is just a wish all right so the um, it is recording as well all right so um agar hum koi goal ke piche koi plan hamare liye nahi hoga to wo sirf ek wish ban ke reh jayega us cheez ko hum achieve karne wale process mein jayenge hi nahi kyunki plan nahi hai और मार्सेल कह रही हैं कि हम इस तरह के गोल्स अपने रख लेते हैं हर साल लेकिन हम उनसे रिलेट नहीं कर सकते वो हमसे रेजोनेट नहीं करते और क्योंकि और हम चेंज भी कर रहे होते हैं टाइम के साथ साथ तो इसलिए गोल सेटिंग प्रैक्टिसेस एक अच्छी चीज़ है जिससे हम एक अचीवेबल गोल रखना मतलब सीखें और फिर हम उसके लिए कोई प्लान बनाकर उसको अचीव करने की तरफ जाए यस मार्सा Okay, I think someone that it has the control needs to click in continue because I cannot. I lost the control of my presentation. She says she can't move it forward. Uh, I I get a message that says this meeting being recorded, but I cannot. Okay. Do you have a control panel on the left side of the screen? No, no, no. Uh, of you? No. no? Yes. Okay, so my first okay. line is about why our goal settings is not working. So, in order for us to do a successful exercise of goal setting this year, well, for the next year, inshallah, or the next period, it's always uh, like hmm. a good uh, task to to check what is not working, why is not working, and and make. Um, I will explain more in depth. Uh, further mm -hmm. but we need to divide our goals into the most achievable ones and the ones that are more like a dream um so i came up with these prompts and it says i have a clear idea of what i really want my goals are mm -hmm. too big i don't have a proper plan to follow up my achievement am i too ambitious or not ambitious enough or i'm just setting goals just because it's the end of the year and everybody is setting goals Hmm. You want to translate till there? I will, yeah. Uh, because it's very dense the the topic. I will rather stop every. Sure. Okay. So this um, slide me uh, Marcel kari hai ki unhone list out kiye hai kuch aisi uh, wajuha jin ki wajah se ham uh, feel karte hai ki hamari goal setting jo ham agar karte hai to wo kam nahi kari. किस वजह से हम उसको अचीव नहीं कर पा रहे सो रीजंस में इंक्लूडेड है कि मुझे क्लियर आइडिया ही नहीं है कि मैं क्या चाहती हूँ या मेरे गोल्स बहुत वेग हैं वेग से मुराद कि बहुत जनरल हैं कुछ मतलब उसके अंदर कुछ स्पेसिफिसिटी नहीं है कि मैं एग्जैक्टली exactly क्या चाहती हूँ या फिर मेरे पास प्रॉपर प्लान नहीं है मेरी अचीवमेंट्स को फॉलो अप करने के लिए जो मैं फॉलो करूँ और या मैं बहुत ज़्यादा एम्बिशस हूँ मतलब ओवर अचीव करने का मेरा प्लान होता है या एम्बिशियस इनफ नहीं हूँ और मैं जो अचीव करना भी होता है उसके लिए इनफ कोशिश नहीं करती और लास्ट है कि मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गोल सेट कर रही हूँ क्योंकि साल का एंड है और बाकी सब लोग इस तरह की बातें कर रहे हैं तो मैं भी इस तरह की बात में शामिल हो रही हूँ यस मार्सा Okay, so what I propose for this goal setting master class is for us to go and review all the material that we have regarding to our dreams, our desires, our plans, and write down which of those challenges or goals or plans that we have for ourselves still really represent us. Um, as I said before, we are constantly changing. So whatever goal I had before. maybe is not working for me anymore or i don't feel attracted to that goal anymore but because i said in my mind that was a my goal i still struggle with the idea and i feel like a failure over things that doesn't have anything to do with me anymore and i will put an example um hmm. i used to do makeup uh, so for me buying a specific brand or things like that were were goals or buying a specific uh I don't know a luxury uh, handbag or something like that. But mm. now my values has changed. So now, for example, I don't buy anything that is not cruelty free or mm. uh, sustainable or things like that. So whatever goal I had regarding to luxury items is completely shifted because mm. it doesn't represent me anymore. So it's a good idea also to do a introspection about what what we really want. 
sometimes hmm. setting goals that are more like a dream like for example oh i want to be an author or i want to draw uh 10 kilos and things like that without a proper plan uh to achieve those goals also will leave all the plan like in the back burner we will not go through because we don't know how to or we are not interested in the how to get there just setting goals because i have hmm. to i set goals i have to follow uh this trend because everybody's doing it or because i think my life only works if i set things that i will not achieve but all these things that are loose ends will take a toll in our um well-being and and our regular life so it's important for us to tie those ends and realize if all those goals still represent me do i have a plan to hmm. follow these goals do hmm. I have discipline to get to this hmm. goal? This goal too uh, is small for me, so I don't give it the importance that it has, or it's too big and I'm not in the physical or mental, um, physically, mentally prepared to achieve this goal. Hmm. You can continue. Hmm. Okay. So, Abhi. Uh, यहाँ पर मार्सल ने बात की है कि हम uh, क्योंकि हम चेंज हो रहे होते हैं uh, मतलब हर वक्त एक एवर चेंजिंग प्रोसेस है ये तो हम uh, जैसे एग्जांपल उन्होंने दी है कि हो सकता है कि मैं पहले मेकअप uh, और लग्जरी हैंड बैग और इस तरह की लग्जरी प्रोडक्ट्स के अंदर मेरा इंटरेस्ट हो uh, और मैं एक uh, मतलब मेरी शख्सियत का हिस्सा हो वो चीज़ लेकिन uh, कुछ आगे चल कर, वो चेंज हो जाए मेरी पर्सनालिटी का वो हिस्सा चेंज हो गया है और अब मुझे उसमें इंटरेस्ट नहीं है तो हमारे गोल्स भी उसके हिसाब से चेंज हो सकते हैं और हमें इसको एक मतलब देखना साथ साथ देखना होगा um, और एग्जांपल्स उन्होंने दी हैं जैसे कि अगर आप ऑथर बनना चाहते हैं आप कोई लाइक वेट लूज करना चाहते हैं वेट गेन करना चाहते हैं तो इस इन चीज़ों के पीछे भी अगर प्लान नहीं होगा तो वो um, वो मतलब आप अचीव नहीं कर सकेंगे अगर आपको ये नहीं पता होगा कि मैंने वहाँ तक कैसे पहुँचना है तो इस तरह के लूज एंड छोड़ छोड़ कर आ, हम छोड़ते जाएंगे और हमारी चीज़ें फुल सर्कल नहीं होंगी मतलब कंप्लीट नहीं होंगी और बाहिर उस चीज़ का शायद इतना हमें लगता है कि क्या फ़र्क पड़ता है लेकिन हमारी वेल well बींग पर हमारी शख्सियत पर उस चीज़ का एक टॉल होता ज़रूर है अगर हम ये लूज एंड छोड़ते जाएंगे तो उस उसका हमारे ऊपर एक इवेंचुअली नेगेटिव इफेक्ट जरूर आना शुरू हो जाएगा तो इसलिए हमें अपने आप से करना है गोल सेट करते हुए ये देखना है कि मैं प्लान है मेरे पास इस चीज़ तक पहुंचने का मेरे पास डिसिप्लिन है इस चीज़ को अचीव करने का या फिर ये मेरे मेरी मेरे पास से बहुत बड़ी चीज़ है मेरे फिजिकली और मेंटली मैं नहीं कर सकती तो ये चीज़ें सब सोच कर आपको गोल सेटिंग के लिए बैठना है यस मार्सा ओके सो नाउ दैट वी हैव अ मोर क्लियर इमेज ऑफ व्हाट वी रियली वांट um we can start developing what goals do we want to achieve in our life mm. and for these we need to also set time frames for those goals because even though we want to achieve some goals uh, during a, a specific period of time, we might need more time for those goals to develop. Hmm. Or maybe hmm. the goal will uh, transform in something else. Um, hmm. So we talk in the future about like, what are the big goals that I, I'm setting for, let's say, from here to one year, from here to five years, from here to 10 years, or um mm. never knows it it might be a, a life term goal mm. Mm. with this goal we need also to split in, in categories we need to set um different categories that apply to us all of these categories are just examples because what is relevant for me it might not be relevant for you or it might not be relevant for this time in your life like for example i'm struggling financially and i want to improve my finances so all my focus and energy will be uh in that category 
or I'm going through mm. my higher education and I want to, one of my goals is to finish my degree. So my, my focus will be in my education or I want to start a family, whatever the, um, the goals are, it will be better and it will be more um, clear if we divide them in these categories. So we know where we should focus our energy. Hmm. Marcel, can you go back one slide? I uh, sure. just talk about that for a second. Okay, so, okay. Uh, this is all right. what we already talked so. Okay, okay, you can go forward. All right, so Marcel, you are saying that um agar hum apne goals ko is tarah ki categories mein pehle se uh, divide kar lenge kyunki goals uh, kisi bhi tarah ke ho sakte hain aap apne work related koi goal set kar sakte hain matlab career ke liye aap apni education ke liye koi goal set kar sakte hain finances um, ki koi goal setting ho sakti hai ki mujhe itna karna hai ya itna uh, jo bhi hai matlab earn karna hai spend karna hai is tarah karna hai या फिर आपको फैमिली स्टार्ट करनी है उससे रिलेटेड तो अगर आप इनको इन कैटेगरीज में पहले से डिवाइड करेंगे तो आपको ज्यादा क्लैरिटी के साथ आपकी गोल सेटिंग हो रही होगी और वो आपको अचीव करने में उतना ही मददगार होगी यस मास्टर ओके वन थिंग इज इम्पोर्टेंट टू क्लैरिफाई हियर इन माय स्पेसिफिक केस और इन माय प्रैक्टिस आई डोंट लाइक टू हैव मेनी गोल्स set for a short mm. period of time i will choose few Take categories care. three four categories mm. for a, a year period for example uh but mm. i will never uh leave all those dreams and desires that i have that are it might look random so i have a specific place to put those because it can mm. develop in a achievable goal in the future or it mm. can tell things about myself like for example i like to write I love to write and I, I enjoy my time writing. And in the future, mm. if I develop in me being an author and writing a book, mm. I never know. Mm. What. So it's better. So you're saying when that hmm, we, we sh shouldn't like start all of those things at once, but we should keep in mind what our dreams and wishes are and like jot them down separately for you know circling back at later at a later point in life is that what you said yeah we will go through different ways to say set goals and one of those i think is is the one coming um it's for okay. those dreams and desires that are random but what i oh. wanted to to clarify here in this category time is hmm. it's better if you stick to the minimum at first when say. you're developing these goals uh, setting muscle hmm मार्सेल कह रही हैं कि हम बेहतर इतना बेहतर ये होगा कि आप जितना अपना लिस्ट को छोटा रखें गोल्स की लिस्ट को छोटा रखें और एटलीस्ट स्टार्टिंग में क्योंकि आप जितने ज्यादा आप अपना कॉम्प्लिकेट कर लेंगे गोल्स को उतना आपके लिए मुश्किल भी हो जाएगा अचीव करना और फिर ओवरवेलमिंग भी हो जाती है वो ये चीज तो जितना आप सिंपल रखें जितनी फ्यूअर कैटेगरीज आप पिक करें और उनको स्टिक करें उतना आपके लिए ये प्रोसेस पॉजिटिव प्ले करेगा यस मार्सा ओके नाउ सिंस वी आर इन द एक्सरसाइज ऑफ सेटिंग आवर गोल्स आर वी रेडी फॉर दोस गोल्स द वंस दैट वी चूज दैट वी थिंक वी वुड लाइक टू अचीव इन दिस पीरियड ऑफ टाइम लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दिस कमिंग ईयर जस्ट टू हैव लाइक अ अ a guideline but for example for students and university students could be a semester they could set a goal hmm. for a semester or for someone that is following a um, a degree it might be two years or it might be uh, four years but let's talk about one year from now and are we hmm. mentally and physically in the in a place in the place i need to be hmm. to set my goal because sometimes mm. and especially this uh, two years that been uh, very difficult for all of us we've mm. been uh, feeling discouraged because all the plans and dreams we had in 2019 that we thought will happen in 2020 it they mm. didn't so they we didn't. need to also mm. consider uh, if mm. we are mentally and physically able to set our goals which goals mm. are are more um 
achievable at this point in my life and mm -hmm. we need to be kinder uh, in the goal setting um, exercise for us to develop a love and to develop a, a nice relationship with me pushing myself to be better every day. Also, mm -hmm. what time frame is doable? Sometimes we, we mm -hmm. want to, to achieve uh, things uh, in a time frame that, uh, that is not reasonable for us because life happens and we have many other things and many other dimensions to attend. So hmm. is this time frame working for me? And where am I going to put my main focus? And it's related with, with uh, what I just said about me setting crazy goals for a period of a year. Um, my mind is scattered everywhere in all the categories because I want to be a perfect wife or a perfect uh, daughter or a perfect student or a perfect worker. And this and that, and, and my mind will wander and nothing will get done because I'm putting my main focus in nothing. We are, we are giving mm. not the proper attention to the things that will bring us benefit. Hmm. Oh, I love the word that you used. Um, we should be kinder towards, you know, when setting goals, kinder to ourselves. And, I, I uh, you think, know, sometimes we're not. If this uh, last two years taught us something is that we need to be kinder mm. to ourselves. Mm. Mm. True. So Marcel, you are saying that you have a time frame pehli cheez ye ki aapko dekhna hai ki main mentally or physically us jagah par hu jahan par main apne liye jis tarah ke goal set kar rahi hu ye main inko actually pursue kar sakungi is plan pe actually kaam kar sakungi meri mental state meri physical state aur hum us aur ye sochte hue ye is cheez ka tayun karte hue aapko thoda apne sath kindly behave karna hai matlab ambitious hokar hum aksar apne liye ek टारगेट ऐसा सेट कर लेते हैं या इतना छोटे टाइम के अंदर पूरा करने के लिए वो टारगेट सेट कर लेते हैं कि वो करना पॉसिबल नहीं होता क्योंकि लाइफ हैपेंस पिछले दो सालों में हमने अगर ये चीज सीखी है क्योंकि 2019 में बिफोर कोरोना वेव हिट अस लाइफ बहुत डिफरेंट थी हमारे प्लान बहुत डिफरेंट थे फर्क तरह से जा रही थी उसके बाद एकदम से लाइफ की पेस ने इतना चेंज हुआ और फिर हम घरों में बंद हो गए उस चीज का हमारी मेंटल हेल्थ पे भी टॉल था फिजिकल हेल्थ पे भी टॉल था uh, तो ये ये सारी चीजें नजर में रखते हुए आपने अपने लिए एक अचीवेबल गोल एक ऐसा टाइम फ्रेम के अंदर सेट करना है जो आप को एक्चुअली लगे कि आप ये चीज कर सकते हैं यस मार्सल आई आई लव दिस आई लव दिस पॉइंट बिकॉज समटाइम्स यू नो वी रियली आर नॉट इन दैट सॉर्ट ऑफ अंटल स्पेस और फिजिकल स्पेस बट यू नो वी नीड टू डू इट बिकॉज We're too ambitious at that time. To, I want to explore many options for our dreams because the other the other thing is we uh, become uh, since we couldn't get anywhere we'll become uh, underachievers and we will do the very much yeah. because what's the point and it depressed me and I feel if I couldn't um, achieve the goals that I set for myself I'm a failure so I will not setting any goals for myself mm. so. Hmm. Uh, this is why uh, it's very important uh, when you're doing the goal setting for your life. Uh, first, the competition hmm. is only with you. Hmm. The goals yeah, but, hmm. set are, are uh, goals for us and our life plan. No, uh, because we want to um, comply with uh, social expectations, not because uh, it depends on anybody else approval. Is because hmm. it's for me. I want to grow. I want to evolve. I want to be happy, and I want to live my life the fullest. So, this is also very important when we are doing um, the goal setting. But hmm. we can also we when if we realize and we identify that we are not in the right place, we can record hmm. all those dreams and and goals in in some place where i can go and review if i'm ready hmm. those hmm. goals can develop in other goals that are more attainable or more represent me more hmm. okay so I, i'll just uh, talk about this um so marcel keh rahi hai ke um jab hum uh, goal mat, uh, goal setting kar rahe hain us waqt pe hame uh ये देखना है यही बात कि हम कितना अचीव कर सकते हैं 
उतने टाइम के अंदर क्योंकि जितना जितनी चीजें हम अचीव नहीं करेंगे जितनी उस वो लिस्ट हम लंबी करते जाएंगे कि ये भी गोल रखा लेकिन अचीव नहीं हुआ ये भी रखा अचीव नहीं हुआ तो वो उतना हम अपने आप को एज ए फेलियर कंसिडर दिमाग में कहीं ना कहीं वो चीज आनी शुरू हो जाएगी कि अच्छा मैं कुछ अचीव नहीं कर सकती मेरे लिए मुश्किल है कुछ भी करना तो फिर वो आ, हो सकता है कि हमने बड़े टास्क अपने आप को असाइन किए हुए थे लेकिन फिर छोटे टास्क को भी शुरू करते हुए हमें यही फीलिंग आएगी कि मुझसे नहीं होगा ये मेरे लिए मुश्किल है इसलिए आपको अपने गोल्स को रियलिस्टिक रखने की जो बात बार बार की जा रही है वो इसी वजह से ही है और आप ऐसा हो सकता है कि अगर आपके दिमाग में कोई आ, ऐसा गोल है जो आपको कभी लाइफ में अचीव करना है लेकिन अभी आपके पास उस तरह की मेंटल स्पेस नहीं है या फिजिकल स्पेस नहीं है कि आप उसको कर सके तो आप उसको एक ड्रीम्स एंड होप्स के नाम से या किसी एक सेपरेट कॉर्नर में आप उस उस चीजों को अपने जर्नल में जॉट डाउन कर सकते हैं जहां पर आप दोबारा उस चीज को रिविजिट कर सकते हैं लेटर इन लाइफ जब आप एक बेहतर पोजीशन में अपने आप को फील करें एंड देन यू कैन सेट दैट दैट एज योर गोल यस मार्सल now we don't uh, as i said before we don't need um to know specifically the the time set we just will set uh the goals what we thought would be achievable in one year five years or 10 years but also mm-hmm. we need to identify if my dreams or my desires are a goal hmm are these goals uh, that i'm setting things that i love to do that represents me that will make me f- uh, wholesome uh, how mm-hmm. do i see myself in one year five years 10 years are these goals aligned to my values for example and what mm-hmm. prevents me from reaching my potential what is happening with all those goals that i set before that are not working or i didn't accomplish what mm-hmm. happened what's happened there it's a good exercise for us also it help us to know us better because we are talking uh with all these trends on the journaling and self love that we need to love ourselves but do we know ourselves do we know what we hmm. really want um hmm. money okay. or time hmm. or expectations were not the issue would i be still hmm. having the feelings hmm Can, can you repeat the last part again sorry uh, didn't get it okay so if, if money and that, um, these things are not preventing me money yeah. or social expectations mm. or relationship with others or mm. i don't know any other external uh thing affecting us uh will mm. withdraw from the equation will still be my goal mm. like for example one thing that is super important for for people is to have the uh diploma or the certificate the paper mm. it doesn't matter mm. what career you go through but you want your family to be proud of you but the, maybe your passion is something else maybe you want to be a shoemaker or you want mm. to be an artist or you want to do something that is not conventional in the eyes of your family so if money was not the problem or social mm. expectations were not the problem it is still be your your goal hmm. that's a come to have it, it's really interesting this this point is really interesting as well so marcel keh rahi hain ki hame ye dekhna hai ki jo hamare dreams aur desires hain kya wo waqai mera goal hai mujhe mujhe actually kya cheez karne se mujhe acha lagega mujhe kya cheez karna pasand aayega और ये कि मैं अपने आप को एक साल में या पांच साल में या दस साल में मैं कहाँ पर देख देखती हूँ अपने आप को और ये चीज अलाइन कर सकती है हमारी वैल्यूज के साथ कि हमारी वैल्यू क्या है मतलब हमें मनी ओरिएंटेड है हमारी गोल सेटिंग हमारी हैप्पीनेस ओरिएंटेड है कोई और तरह की वैल्यू है जिसको हम अचीव करना चाह रहे हैं उस तरह की कोई है और लास्ट पॉइंट ये था कि हमें ये देखना है कि मुझे मेरा गोल अचीव करने से अगर सोशल uh, प्रेशर्स होते हैं क्योंकि समटाइम्स हमको चीज़ें सिर्फ एक सोशल डिमांड की वजह से कर रहे होते हैं फैमिली के प्रेशर uh, की वजह से कर रहे होते हैं uh, जिस तरह मार्सेल ने तो वैसे जो एग्जांपल्स दिए हैं वो मेरा ख्याल शू मेकर और आर्टिस्ट तो कोई भी ना हमारी सोसाइटी में इनक्रेज करे लेकिन uh, अपना अपना इंटरेस्ट हो सकता है तो अगर इस तरह के प्रेशर्स और इस तरह के फैक्टर्स को हम निकाल दें तो क्या फिर भी मैं वो गोल अचीव करना चाह चाहती हूँ 
कि मैं फ़र्क करियर हो सकता है फ़र्क तरह का फैमिली स्ट्रक्चर हो सकता है कुछ कुछ भी हो सकता है तो वाई वाई डू यू से दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट मार सेल्फ वाई वाई इज दिस दिस पॉइंट इम्पोर्टेंट लाइक वाई डू वी नीड टू because we yeah. need to, we need to assess ourselves was was the the end goal mm. what, okay what do i want to to have in life we we are in in it's funny but uh we live in the matrix so mm. we grew up and we know that we need to make money and we need to work and we need to start a family but it's like we are in auto drive we are not mm. uh, like mindfully intentionally living So hmm. when I talk about this uh I don't know maybe many of you have uh, realized after the pandemics uh hmm. when people got laid uh, off from their jobs a lot of hmm. them have find an income in their passion hmm. they are doing what they hmm. love and they are earning uh their livelihood I mean is not something that is uh Uh, a fantasy is not like I'm deciding oh my goal or my dream is to be a mermaid no it's something mm. that people is living why why cannot i do the same and maybe mm. it's not the time maybe i need to work in this job that is not giving me uh joy because i need to provide for my family so i displace the joy of the work for the joy of providing my family but maybe in the future things can change and i need mm. to open for that for those uh it's like some uh doors open in our time mm. frame mm. and we need to be ready and open to go through it sometimes mm. we have um i don't know alternative options uh situations that comes to our life and because we are too scared of of living our life in our own terms we don't go mm. through those but hmm. sometimes when you're forced hmm realize your potential. just like in case of pandemic yes yeah in the pandemic hmm. it's crazy how many hmm. people is living from uh macrame and pottery and uh, not only with arts a lot of people start uh self studying and they are now in, in finances and all the things that the, it was not their their primary goal but it became in their goal because back there it was that um light or these flame uh mm. of those of of feeding those dreams mm. so for example let's say i i always love mathematics but my work was i don't know i studied psychology because my family wanted me to do it but then the pandemic mm. hit and now i took a financial course and now i'm i'm uh an financial advisor or a business mm. coach i don't know I mean I'm 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 just talking uh nonsense but we can see hmm. this evidence every day in people that is around us. Hmm. What is the difference between them and us? It's just that the goals were clear for them? I don't think so. It's just hmm. they make that switch for themselves and for the for the own uh path their own terms. Hmm. Okay so I'll just um quickly cover uh, this uh, so marcel keh rahi hai ki hum hum kyunki ek bahut automated si zindagi guzar rahe hote hain ke bade hona hai degree leni hai um, job karni hai family start karni hai matlab ek auto drive ke upar jaise wo sab kuch ho raha hota hai um, hamara passion uh, ho sakta hai ki usse mukhtalif ho jo uh, jis field mein hum kaam kar rahe hain ya jis field ki padhai kari hai to uh, ye realize sirf karna क्योंकि एग्जाम्पल जिस तरह मार्सल देरी के पैंडमिक के टाइम पे बहुत सारे लोगों की जॉब्स चली गई थी सो समाइम्स ऐसे हुआ है कि पीपल व फोर्स्ड टू परसू समथिंग एल्स और उन्होंने अपने जो पैशन को अगर परसू किया उसको मोनिटाइज किया है मतलब उससे इस तरह के अर्निंग करना स्टार्ट करी है तो वो चीज़ उनके लिए ज़्यादा फुलफिलिंग थी और वो एक पुश जो मतलब इंसान को चाहिए होता है एक फ़र्क चीज़ एक्सपीरियंस करने का वो कुछ लोगों के लिए पैंडमिक की सूरत में आया लेकिन अगर अभी नहीं भी हमें लगता कि हम अपने पैशन के पीछे जा सकते हैं फॉर द रीजन जो एक रियलिस्टिक रीजन एग्जिस्ट करती हैं हर एक की लाइफ में लेकिन अपने दिमाग में अगर या हम अपने जर्नल में ये चीज़ लिखें कि अगर कभी कोई ऐसी अपॉर्चुनिटी खुद प्रजेंट करती है कि मैं इस फील्ड को कर सकूँ तो 
दिमाग थोड़ा सा रेडी रहता है फिर जब वो अपॉर्चुनिटी आती है तो फिर हम उसको परसू करने में हमें उतनी देर नहीं लगती जब हमने अगर इन केस हमने अपने आप से इस बारे में बात नहीं की हुई और फिर इस तरह की कोई चीज नजर आती है तो हमें फर्स्ट इंस्टिंग तो कोई भी नई चीज के लिए यही होता है कि नहीं ये नहीं हो सकता ये चाहे वो कितना छोटे से छोटा काम हो और कितना बड़े से बड़ा काम हो पहला इंस्टिंग इंसान का यही होता है कि नहीं ये पॉसिबल नहीं है तो अगर हमने ये बात अपने आप से की होगी तो अगर कभी क्योंकि अल्लाह रास्ते खोलने वाला है और हमें नहीं पता होता कि कहाँ हमारे लिए ज्यादा बेहतरी है तो इसलिए ये वाला जो पॉइंट हम बात कर रहे थे उस की मतलब थोड़ी सी एक्सप्लेनेशन ये है कि हम इस तरह से कर सकते हैं कि अपने पैशन को हम मोनिटाइज कर कर सकें और उस उससे हैप्पीनेस हम डिराइव कर सकें और लाइवली हो जाए यस मार साहब Okay, now we're gonna uh, start um, going through the tools that we're using to, uh, to set uh, goals. One that is very common in the journaling community is the brain dump. So, what is mm-hmm. a brain dump? Is basically a spread or a page or a notebook where I will put random thoughts I have regarding to something. So, I can use it, for example, if I. Mm. want to uh put some go- i want to write a book or whatever so i will uh write down whatever comes to my mind regarding to my literature like for example oh it will be nice having a character that be yeah, strong mm. or uh, i don't know valiant or whatever but in the mm. goal set case it will be for our dreams or our desires and i will give mm. you an example I don't like the uh, the the wording uh brain dump I like to call mine a mind release because basically uh, it removes the the um, negative connotation of dump and, and becomes more um I don't know more romantic so positive like mind release <laughs> true see, hmm. uh anything so I put some examples here or some prompts about what will be in a in a my release and these has no um has no rules so what i want to write here is anything and then in the future mm. when i'm setting goals for the next period or when i feel stuck in my challenges that i feel like i need to push myself a little bit more or i'm ready to to accept more challenges then i call go back so whatever i wrote a few years ago that might not make sense at that time maybe mm. it could be reality for me right now So for example mm. I want a house but um, today I don't have the money I don't have the time I don't have the job to back up uh mm. whatever so but it can be a reality next year or in the next five years so it this is what I was talking about it's important to to have for all mm. those dreams that are not shaped yet into a goal so this mm. random examples I want to run a marathon or i want to write hmm. a book or i want to do bungee jumping or i want to learn how to make pasta in italy so it's two goals i want to learn how to cook and i want to do it in italy all these things hmm. could be a random at this time but it will be clear in the future hmm. we did talk about brain dump the last time as well remember yes in the in the yeah future. या सो लास्ट टाइम हमने बात करी थी इस पे ब्रेन डंप के नाम से एक स्प्रेडशीट आप अपनी जर्नल uh, में बना सकते हैं जहाँ पर आप अपनी रैंडम तरीन थॉट्स और जैसे मास ने कहा कि इसके कोई रूल्स नहीं है कि कोई uh, आपको जो ख्याल आता है आप लिख सकते हैं सो so, यहाँ पर वो कह रही है कि मैंने टर्म ब्रेन डंप को थोड़ा सा चेंज करके माइंड रिलीज कर दिया बिकॉज इट हैज यू नो पॉजिटिव रिंग टू इट देन डम्प सो तो इसके अंदर आपको जो भी आपका गोल हो सकता है जो भी आप मतलब आपकी डिजायर्स और ड्रीम्स हो सकते हैं आप वो लिख सकते हैं यहाँ पे एग्जाम्पल्स लिखी हुई हैं आप ने पढ़ भी सकते हैं वॉन्ट हाउस आई वॉन्ट टू रन अ मैराथन वट्स माई लेगेसी एक सवाल जो हम बहुत कम पूछते हैं अपने आप से शुड आई स्टार्ट ब्लॉग लर्निंग हाउ टू मेक पास्ट इन इटली सो ये इस तरह की फ़र्क तरह की कोई आपके जो भी हैं जो आपको उस वक्त पे हो सकता है इनसेन लग रहे हो कि ये चीज़ को हम कैसे परसू करेंगे ये तो हो ही नहीं सकता 
तो बस आप लिख दें इट्स जस्ट फॉर योर सेल्फ आपने किसी से शेयर नहीं करना कोई कोई सोसाइटी उसमें इन्वॉल्व नहीं हो रही कोई ऑडियंस नहीं है इस चीज़ की लेकिन कुछ सालों बाद वेन यू रीविजिट इट तो हो सकता है कि कोई गोल्स बीच में से ऐसे हों जो आप जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल ये है टू मेक पास इन इटली सो मे बी अब आपके पास ऐसे है कि आप ट्रैवल कर सकती हूँ सो हैविंग दिस इन माइंड आप अगर ट्रैवल करते हैं तो आप वहाँ का कोई कुजीन लर्न कर सकते हैं वहाँ पर जाकर तो रिविजिट करने के लिए ये चीज़ अच्छी है आपका ब्रेन को एक पॉजिटिव आउटलेट मिला होता है कि आपकी जो भी होप्स एंड ड्रीम्स हैं वो आप इसके यहाँ पर शेयर कर सकते हैं और कोई ऑडियंस नहीं है इस पेज की Yes, yeah, Marcel. It's a, it's a name, uh, everything, but it's also uh, special for us journalists. I think it's a must uh, spread in, in our journals, regarding mm-hmm. to many things. In this case, to to goals, but we also go pair to pair with with our goal setting because we 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 said before, are we in the right mind and right physical um, state uh, space? Hmm. In, So hmm. now we will talk about what is a push goal and a pull goal. Hmm. This uh, concept uh, might be a game changer for a lot of people. So hmm. this author in Nest Labs uh, talk about what a push goal is and what. Um, okay, let me change the. I'm struggling with the my. uh a screen so i will i will go to my phone so i can see it better um so there are two types of goals hmm the goals that push that we push ourselves to complete uh it requires pressure and will power but it might feel force or hard work it's based on discipline and there are the hmm. goals that are goals that we feel naturally and i will explain uh further So it's more natural, and it's all about our passions and dedications, and it feels more effortless. So let's say uh, my goal was mm. to run a marathon, right? Mm. And I'm not achieving that goal. So I go mm. back and think, why is my goal to run a marathon? And then mm. I realize that what I do enjoy is to run. So instead of setting or pushing myself to a certain uh, set goal that is running a, a specific marathon, I will mm. set a goal that is running one kilometer every two days or once a week or whatever, and I'm enjoying this thing. I don't know what the um, end will be or what the um, conclusion of this activity will be. But what I hmm. know is that what I'm doing is something hmm. that I enjoy, and it will become uh, maybe it will transform in a goal that is more um, tangible. Hmm. So when we have some goals that are difficult to to achieve or are not very clear or aligned to what uh, we think we are, maybe hmm. trans. Coming into pull goals, it will be the the right the right um, move. Like for example, I want to write a book, hmm. and I've been trying to write a book for a year, and I get stuck, and I don't have the inspiration. But I realize that I really enjoy writing, and I love to hmm. write about random things. So instead of me forcing to come up with a with an already um, product that is a book i will decide mm. to write one hour every day i enjoy this mm. activity is not very difficult for me but for these goals to be a reality it has to be a discipline or a commitment behind it so mm. we can transform our push goals into pull goals that will feel more natural we will enjoy it and we will get there slowly but we'll be we will be more mindful and we actually will enjoy them more they are mm. more aligned with what we are what we like and then it will feel natural we don't we will not even feeling that we are trying to get somewhere mm. we are just enjoying the ride mm the journey we're enjoying the journey to getting there 
یہاں پر مارسل نے انٹروڈیوس کیے دو ٹرمس ہمارے لیے پش گولز اور پل گولز اور جیسے کیا نام سجیسٹ کرتا ہے پش گول اس طرح کا کوئی گول ہو سکتا ہے جو آپ کو اپنے جو کمپلیٹ کرنے کے لیے آپ کو خود کو دھکا لگانا پڑے اور پل گول اس طرح کا ہو سکتا ہے جو آپ جس کی طرف نیچرلی ڈرون ہو جس کی طرف آپ خود سے کھینچتے چلے جائیں اور آپ کو اس کو کرنے میں مطلب آپ کو لگے کہ مجھے ایفرٹ کے بغیر میں یہ کام کرنا مجھے اچھا لگ رہا ہے تو اگر آپ اپنے پش گولس کو پل گولس کی طرف بریک ڈاؤن کر کے بے شک اس گول کو کر لیں گے تو وہ آپ کے لیے آسان ہو جائے گا جیسے ایگزامپل انہوں نے دی کہ اگر آپ میراتھون رن کرنا آپ کا گول ہے تو آپ اپنے لیے اس کو ایک پل یو نو اگر ہے ایسا گول تو ڈیفینیٹلی آپ کو کہیں نہ کہیں ہوگا کہ آپ کو رن ہے یا آپ کو اس طرح سے ایکٹیویٹی آپ کو اچھی لگتی ہوگی تو انسٹیڈ آف کہ آپ اپنے لیے کوئی ان ریلسٹک سا ٹارگیٹ کر لیں کہ میں نے ہر ہفتے مطلب پانچ دفعہ پانچ کلو میٹر رن کرنا ہے انسٹیڈ آف دیٹ یو کین اسٹارٹ فرام ایک کلو میٹر ہر دو دن میں دو دن میں سے ایک دن میں نے ایک کلو میٹر بس بھاگنا ہے اور آپ اس چیز کو انسٹیڈ آف کے جلدی پہنچنے کے گول کے اوپر جلدی پہنچنے سے بہتر ہے کہ آپ اس کو اس پروسیس کو انجوائے کریں اس کو چھوٹے چھوٹے پل گولس میں کنورٹ کر کے جس سے آپ کو ایک پازیٹیو ایک تو ملے گا آپ کو آپ کی پرسنالٹی کو آپ کی ویل بینگ کو کہ آپ نے اچیو کیا چھوٹا اچیویبل گول اور آپ کو محسوس بھی نہیں ہوگا کہ آپ اس بڑے گول کی طرف بڑھتے جا رہے ہیں اور آپ کو اس رس جرنی کا ہی اتنا مزہ آنا شروع ہو جائے گا یس ماس ideal to have all our goals uh, be uh, natural or feel uh, effortless but we know our mm-hmm. shortcomings and it, these exercise of exercises of introspection uh, show us what are we able to do and what we are not so sometimes there are goals that we need to push ourselves so trying to find the connection uh, between our passions and the, and the goals sometimes is not easy It needs time mm. it needs to a proper knowledge of ourselves to change our push goals into a pull goals and it's not uh, uh, all the time uh, the case. Like for example, we love certain career and we want to uh, go through that career, but for that career, I need to accomplish uh, some levels or certain a subject that I really don't like, I really don't enjoy, but it's part of life and it's part of my um, what I need to do to get to my goal. So mm. there's nothing I can do to make it more enjoyable. So I will, I will rely on my willpower to get there. Mm. But the, mm. the, the yeah. ideal is... Okay, so Marcel, can یہ آسان نہیں ہوگا کہ ہم اپنے گولس کو اپنے پیشن کے ساتھ الائن کر سکیں یہ کام آسان نہیں ہو سکتا اور اس کے لیے ہمیں ضروری ہے اپنے بارے میں بہتر سے بہتر نالج ہونا کہ ہم ہاؤ ڈو ہاؤ ڈو یو ایکسپلین دس ماسل Okay, we are, we are uh, coming from this uh, imaginary uh, scenario where we are setting our goals and we said that we will do an exercise to check mm. what things do we love, all the prompts that we went through, right? So it has to mm. do with mm. this exercise. When, when we yeah. know our shortcomings, I know like, for example, I don't like this thing or well, I need to drop 10 kilos, right? And for to drop 10 kilos, I not only be to, uh, have to be uh, calorie deprived, I also need to be in motion. I need to do some sort of exercise mm. and things. And mm. I might not like it, but the reality mm. is if I need to have a different lifestyle for me to accomplish things that in my current lifestyle are not working or are not happening. Mm. So because I know that I cannot do it myself, because I know there's something in me that doesn't let me flow or doesn't let me change this habit, I need to look for tools or strategies 
and push myself go, uh, towards those um, goals or challenges. Hmm. It is clear, okay, so, I, hmm. I want to ask if, if it's uh, clear the difference between the push goals and pull goals. I, I guess it's clear to me. Are we getting any messages? Hmm. Okay, let's let's go forward. Okay. Yeah. Okay, how I transform the push goals into pull goals. Mm -hmm. So this is a summary of what we've been talking. So do I enjoy what I'm doing regardless of the angle? So I know I need to drop 10 kilos or 20 kilos or five kilos. I know that for that, I need to uh, achieve some things. One is my... Uh, uh, eating habits and the other is my exercise. I hate gyms and then I realized maybe there are other activities that I can enjoy. So maybe I enroll myself into a Zumba class or I enjoy myself hmm. into a yoga or a hmm. trail trekking and I will go with a group and uh, walk in the nature. So these things hmm. are part of the end goal but the the main goal is not towards the end goal is to me enjoying my life while getting there and it mm. goes also back to what I said about what if something else is not applicable why am I dropping the 10 kilos is because I really truly need it for my body to be functional and healthy or is because social mm. expectations or is because I think I might look prettier to others, or is because I have a distorted uh, image of myself. So hmm. when we go through the goals that we are trying to set here in the categories we are trying to set that we went through before, it's hmm. also constant asking ourselves, what's the purpose? What's the intention behind of all these goals? Why am I hmm. setting this goal? What is the reason? And if hmm. those um, variables are not in the equation, I will still do it. If I feel hmm. healthy, if I feel energetic and my weight is within a healthy limit, would I be still go through that? Hmm. So those are important prompts to have when we are trying to set achievable realistic goals. Another thing hmm. is identify the patterns of the goals. I have a set of goals and those are push goals. I feel forced or I feel exhausted because I need to go through these. And I said it's uh, December and I haven't finished my goals or it's September and I see the year is, is passing by and I haven't finished. Is there a common pattern in the, in the steps that I need to get to my goal or is there um, other activities that I can do that can fulfill the needs that I need to, to all the things that I need to do to get to my goal? Or can I connect hmm. my passion? So for example, I work for a really boring job and it's administrative, but I love to draw and I love to hmm. doodle. Uh, how hmm. can, what if I come up with this uh, idea and I present my book to a sketch of a new, I don't know, ruling for the organization or people is talking about, um, I don't know, diversity and inclusion uh, for the company's uh, hmm. uh, project next year. Why if I present something that is more friendly and colorful for the company, would I be able to explore my, my art through my own job? Hmm. And the other thing Cheek. is to be consistent. I already said that um, even though we want to make uh, these steps effortless and these goals to be more organic, we need hmm. to have uh, discipline. We need to have a consistent practice of these and build have a habit to get there. Uh, hmm. We're talking about health and, and losing weight or gaining weight or whatever. We need hmm. to have consistent uh, routine in order to get there. Hmm. 
Okay, um, we have a few questions and comments. Let's take them. All okay. right, so... Uh, um, can you... Yeah, I'll, I'll share them. First of all, Zareen Khalik. Mm -hmm. Um, she said it's an interest. It's an extremely interesting concept. Um, the one that you know we're talking about. So thank you, Zareen. Next is Ismat Zara is asking, how can we plan a goal? Like if I say I want to learn a language. Okay, we will we will go through in 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 one minute, inshallah. Okay. We can use that as an example. Okay. Do you, do you want me to post the next question? Yes. Okay. So we have, um, uh, the name is a bit anonymous. Um, we're asked, if I want to change my bad habit, how it helps, should I um, write it in mind release or what should I do? And then further, she has said bad habit, for example, if I want to get rid of anger, how can I change this? Okay. Okay, we will yeah. talk that, uh, that that is related a little bit. Mm -hmm. Basically, uh, since we are doing an exercise of getting to know ourselves, is very valuable and it's very important that we realize uh, that we have a problem and where the problem is. Because sometimes we are clueless and we say, why is this not working? Why am I going through my life like this? Why everything is like this? And we don't realize that we have a problem or a shortcoming or there's something that doesn't let us flow. So mm. at least realizing that we have a something that we want to change and we want to achieve is very commendable. And it makes the goal setting way easier than when we are mm. clueless, when we still don't know uh, each other and we start setting goals uh, that depend on others and not ourselves. Mm. So you want to talk about this these slide or we can... Uh, let's go forward. forward. Yeah, let's go forward. Because we are okay. getting uh, questions from the slide, so okay, uh, yeah. Okay, so this is where I wanted to go, and uh, I think this will solve a little bit of their uh, concerns and hmm. the importance of action setting. Hmm. So what we are going to do is we already identified uh, our goals for the year. We are talking about. Hmm. Uh, I said. We can set any time, but as an example, we are saying the goals for next year. So mm. we decided that one of our goals was um, uh, to lose weight, but we are changing mm. now because uh, our, our friend uh, here asked about learning a language, right? So mm. we need to set a time frame from the accomplishment of the step, but mm. Remember, we need to be kinder to ourselves and we need to be realistic. So if I say I want to learn Korean in one month, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. But what I can say is I want to learn the alphabet within one month. Mm -hmm. That can happen. And then in the internet era, it's very mm -hmm. easy to find steps that will help you. If you Google uh, how to learn something, there's a lot people, uh, especially in Instagram, with a studygram, that they hmm. show how they achieve the mastery of that language or what steps do they take. So if you do a little research and check people that success in the goals that you have, or for example, how to set a company or how to make uh, a dress or whatever goal, is people already doing it? So you can hmm. learn from their experiences. So let's say hmm. instead of the, I want to lose weight is I want to learn the language. Let's take Korean because I'm learning Korean right now. So in order hmm. for that to happen, I need to break it into steps. So hmm. for example, I want to enroll into a Korean language center. Hmm. I want to start learning vocabulary and I will set the reward for that. So, hmm we need to break these steps further. Mm. How much is going to be the academy? Is there an mm. academy close to myself? Can mm. I go how many times? It will interfere with my daily life. How much time can I uh, dedicate specifically to this goal? 
Hmm. Do I have the money now to pay for the academy? What if I can't? Then hmm. another goal will develop from there. If I cannot enroll in an academy and I realize, well, I don't have the money now, but I need to save up for that. What free uh, materials are available for me to learn? And then hmm. I start to plan. Now that I start a plan, I will go through my other um, part of my goal, the other part I broke uh, my goal in, and is I will start setting one hour daily of vocabulary. So mm. I will take one month to learn the, mm. um, the alphabet, and mm. I will use these and these and these um, system. There's free content uh, out there, or maybe uh, virtual that is less expensive, or more mm. adaptable to your uh, schedule, whatever it is. Uh, if there's a, how is the saying? Is there's a will, there's a way. Mm. So we will mm. try to find whatever, because it's our passion. We want to learn the language. We want to do something that is fun uh, while we are doing um, our dreams. We are making our dreams come true. We don't want to suffer in the journey, right? So I mm. will find a YouTube videos or maybe a Skillshare or I don't know, whatever um, tool is available online, but I mm. need to set uh, some uh, guidelines for myself. So I cannot do it daily, but maybe I can do it every other day or maybe on the weekends. And regarding to that and my progress, progress I'm also will turning my, um, my goals because we are in constantly growth. So Hmm. Maybe I took a month to learn the alphabet, but because I'm watching already dramas or whatever, I know already words and it's becoming easier and easier for me to learn. So I will speed up my, my time frame. Or maybe it was more difficult than I, than I thought. So I need to stretch the time frame. And then setting the rewards, I think is important for any goal that we, that we set. As we said, especially in the pandemics, it's a need to be kinder to, uh, to ourselves. So that pat in the back after we achieve some um, milestones will be very beneficial for us to continue and to feel more uh, that we are getting there for feeling more accomplished. Maybe we went to the supermarket and we heard someone uh, speaking in Korean and we could understood and I was so happy because of that and then I will go and buy a cupcake or have a coffee with my friends because I did that um, or I enrolled in an academy and I had a good grade so I need to a pat in the back I said you're doing it you're doing it good because what we are trying to do with this exercise is to um, build this muscle of goal setting uh, and not only uh, goal setting but um, functional and successful goal setting. Mm. Okay. Um, uh, a long <laughs> Sorry. Do you want? No, no. Um, I'll just you know briefly uh, do it. Uh, I'm sure the audience is um, up to speed uh, up till now. Okay. So, uh, oh, Marcel, I have a question. Um, sure. For example, you, you, you've given the answer um, sort of in the light that um, learning a language is a passion for someone. What if it's a necessity yeah. and not a passion? A person is, you know, learning for me, for, for example, for me, learning a language is really dry. I, can, I don't look forward to learning any new language. But what if I have to and I need to? Maybe what then? What, what, what can change then? Okay. Yeah. We, uh, everything in this life works uh, on perspective, right? So mm. the same, the same uh, experience for two different people could be completely different. So something for someone will be highly rewarding and for another person, it will be very painful. So in mm. the outlook. So if I have to, I don't know, I work for a company and their main, uh, office is in Brazil and I need to learn Portuguese but I am mm. stubborn and I don't like languages I don't like the culture there's nothing that can uh, motivate me I need to find passions in within mm. to get me going 
Why? Because if not, there's something that I have to do, but it's going to be super bitter. Um, one, one second, Marcel. Uh, Noreen uh, Iqbal, uh, can, can, can we mute her? Her, her mic is uh, not on mute and we're getting a lot of inference. Yes, yes, Marcel. Continue, please. So there are things in life that we have to do, right? So we can transform the, that in a push goal. So it's important for, um, for my career and I have to, and I will set the time frame to do it and I will hire a teacher to have it and make it the less painful possible. But also I can transform it into a passion. So I will start watching... Uh, Portuguese dramas, or I don't know, finding friends that can speak Portuguese, or learning a little bit about the culture. Maybe I get engaged uh, into the language just because of that, or maybe seeing my growth in the company will motivate me because if I can speak that language, maybe I can achieve a better role or have more recognition. So everything depends on perspective. The main, uh, as I said, the ideal will be our goals were our, uh, like rely on our passions, but if not, there's something that, it's something that we have to do and we need to find a way. That Does it make sense? <laughs> does it answer your question? Just, oh. just okay. All right. So um, let me take uh, the next question we have. We have a few. But was it, was right. it here? Um, here where? When, when I was talking about. Oh, yeah, about it was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was helpful. Thank you. All right. So the next. Um, question is um all right so we did the one with the language next question is if i want to change my bad habit how oh, can okay. it help? okay we will go we will go uh to another tool for that um, okay yes just, just a little bit of question because we're going there now all right all right okay should we go forward yeah sure now, this is special for habits. We already talked about trackers in our uh, bullet journal editions. Previous, yeah. Uh, and we will talk about trackers as a progress measurement tool, but also trackers are amazing for changing habits. Mm. So for example, I want to lose weight. And mm. I set myself some, I broke that goal into a small steps. And for those mm. steps, I will uh, need to track my progress because how can I know if I'm getting there into my uh, goal if I'm not tracking my progress? How do I know if I'm, for example, I want to be an author, I want to write a book, and I decided mm. I will write every day one hour or every other day or, I don't know, 10,000 words a week. How do mm. I know if I'm, I'm, I'm getting there if I we cannot trust our, our memory. I know there's people with amazing brains, but sometimes that's not in our focus. So we tend to forget and it's not visual or clear for us when we want to go back and see what is not working or what was working or what worked. So we hmm. will set uh, trackers for those steps. Let's say, hmm. I have, let's think and I have it. I have a habit to bite my nails, for example. Mm -hmm. I realize I have a problem and then I will check the um, options. So I will buy uh, ointment or something I've seen in the supermarket, something for the nails that it mm -hmm. will prevent me for biting. But also I will have a tracker where I will uh, record every time I, uh, I was biting my nails. Hmm. 
Hmm. With this, I can go back and start seeing patterns. And if we want to go further, we can make a more um, explanatory tracker and we can list all the triggers. So for example, I had a stressful day and I was biting my nails or I had a problem with my partner and I was biting my nails or I was facing some uh, trouble or I was disconnected or I was distracted and I was biting my nails. So with these, I, we can go back and see, identify some patterns that can also help us as tools to work towards our, our goal, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, mm -hmm. we start our exercise tracker and we are supposed to do exercises two or three times a week, but we start looking at a lot of X for the days that we skip the exercise. So we can go back and use it as a tool and say what was happening these days, what I'm not going through with my passion. I want this, I want to do this change, what is not um, working for me. So trackers are very, very important tools uh, for us journalists and for people in general. We all have some sort of tracker in our life. Um, and it can be uh, analog or digital, the way that works better for you, uh, mm. but for me, in my case, I think are the most easiest and amazing tool to change habits. Hmm. The most important thing is acknowledging the problem, looking hmm. at contingencies or options to get rid of that. It's not like I woke up one day and I say, oh, I, I, I snore and I will not snore anymore and I will do a tracker. No, it has to come to the point of me um, dissecting, uh, dissecting my problem into steps hmm. and how am I going to address the problem? And this is also uh, a common problem in goal setting. When we have vague uh, goals, like I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to have a company, I want to have a business, I want to lose weight, I want to run a marathon. We leave it just like that. We don't set a proper plan uh, to go to that goal. Hmm. Okay, so um, I'll just uh, quickly, you know, give a um, explanation of this. Okay, so Marcel, you are saying that trackers are a very important tool. Which I have a question also that um, bad habit, like anger, if you have asked your question, so this is another habit that we want to break. So for that, we need to use trackers. Use trackers can be used to trackers. ये हो सकते हैं कि आप एक तो जैसे नेल बाइटिंग की दे रही थी एग्जांपल मार्सेल कि आप लिखेंगे कि जिस इस दिन आपने एक्चुअली नेल बाइटिंग की है फिर आप दूसरी दूसरा स्टेप ये हो सकता है कि आप ट्रिगर्स लिखें कि किस चीज की वजह से आप स्ट्रेस थे इस पर से आपने किया आप आपका पालर विजिट नहीं हो सका इस वजह से आपने नेल बाइटिंग कर ली या जो भी जो जो हैबिट की आप जिसको कर रहे हैं ट्रैक तो आपने उसके लिए ट्रिगर्स नोट करने हैं कि कौन सी चीज है जिसकी वजह से आप उसको मतलब आपसे उस दिन वो और ये जब एक स्प्रेडशीट ये पिछली बार भी हमने बात की थी जब ये एक स्प्रेडशीट की फॉर्म में आपके पास टिक्स और क्रॉसेस की तरह से एक चीज सामने आना शुरू होती है तो आपको एक्चुअल क्योंकि हम दिमाग में अपने इतना क्लियर मैप हमें लगता है जैसे हम ट्रैक रख लेंगे और ये तो बड़ा आसान है मुझे याद रहेगा लेकिन इवेंचुअली हो सकता है एक हफ्ते का हमें याद रहे लेकिन उसके बाद थोड़ा सा हमारा वेग होना शुरू हो जाए वो इमेज के शायद मैंने हफ्ते में दो दिन ये हरकत की या तीन दिन ये हरकत की और आगे जाके आपको लगे कि बस शायद नहीं की या, या बहुत ज्यादा की तो ये स्प्रेडशीट को देख आपको एक क्लियर इमेज होगा आप अपने आप को क्लियरली या रिवॉर्ड कर सकते हैं या थोड़ा सा खुश कर सकते हैं कि मेरा गोल की तरफ मैं जा रही हूँ और नहीं जा रही हूँ तो रीजंस अगर आपने लिखे हों अपने ट्रिगर्स तो आपको वो चीज हेल्प कर सके दिस इज दिस इज रियली यूजफुल वी टॉक अबाउट दिस द लास्ट टाइम एज वेल आई रिमेंबर एंड वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल यू राइट देर इज समिंग we've been taught that we need to suppress them, right? So mm. yes, at 
I'm feeling blue for these days or I'm too angry and I get anger burst uh, here and there or I'm too anxious and how I uh, do I get rid of that? Mm. But we don't understand is we don't need to get rid of anything because that's the beauty of being human is embracing those emotions. Those emotions tell us something and mm. anger is part of uh, the survival tools, right? So instead mm. of me changing the habit that it will come in the future when I understand where is this emotion coming from, the most important mm. question is facing the anger. It says, anger, what, what is you're trying to tell me? What are you trying to tell me? Why am I getting angry? So maybe the tracker will be just a mood tracker where you can uh, check the days that you have your anger burst and, and say, okay, today I was out and I lost my phone and I got angry. And that's normal, right? But mm. sometimes uh, I woke up and I woke up angry and I got angry with everybody and my day was downhill after that. So don't mm. think we need to have a different inspection of those emotions, but instead of suppress them, we need to learn where this coming from and embrace them. I think mm. it's the only to, to to change the, the the habits but it's not like um taking an emotion and suppressing because the emotions are a need and the, they are there for something right hmm. Hmm. okay so um marcel keh rahi hai ki ye emotions wali cheez insaan ke sath hi chal rahi hai isliye is, iske ye, ye normal hai ye natural hai har insaan in, in emotions se guzarta hai isliye unko humne सप्रेस uh, नहीं करना उनको दबाना नहीं है आप एंड यू राइट यू नो समाइम्स यू जस्ट वेक अप ऑन द रॉन्ग साइड ऑफ बेड एंड दर इज नो रीजन बिहाइंड इट बट इट्स देयर बट इफ इफ यू सिट डाउन इफ यू गिव योर सेल्फ टाइम इवेंचुअली मे बी यू डू यू नो फाइंड अ रीजन बिहाइंड इट एंड देर ऑलवेज इज देर इज ऑलवेज समथिंग एट द बैक ऑफ यूर माइंड you start tracking your life it might sound like uh, very difficult annoying and and very uh, mechanical but when you mm. have your your life uh, dissected or with a clear view then you will realize patterns so for some mm. people uh hormonal wise you can have mm. bursts of anger or uh, sadness out of your hormones maybe mm. it's uh, underlying condition maybe you have any autoimmune condition that is affecting you maybe something mm. emotional that you've been bottling up and you think in your mind that nothing everything is well and i'm content with my life but in reality it's not like that it's just because you don't have a good communication with yourself that inner mm. in my case that inner inner marcela that i have it's mm. dropped in there and i don't let her express because i just want to suppress everything that she wants to tell me hmm hmm so marcel keh rahi hain ki ye aapko apne agar jitna aapka apne sath connection behtar hoga utna aapko aasan hoga apne aap ko samajhna aur kyun aap kisi certain tarike se react kar rahe hain बजाहिर हो सकता है सब चीजें ठीक हों लेकिन कोई पीछे ऐसे इमोशंस हो सकते हैं जो आपने दबा के रखे हुए हैं लेकिन वो आपको अभी जब चीजें ठीक चल रही हैं आपको उसके उस उसमें भी मतलब आपको गुस्सा दिला रहे हैं या आपको इस तरह के इमोशंस आपके सामने आ रहे हैं तो जितना बेहतर आपका अपने साथ जितनी अच्छी ट्रैकिंग आप अपनी इमोशंस की करेंगे उतना उतना आपके लिए इस तरह का गोल अचीव करना आसान होगा उतना आप अपने आप को बेहतर समझ सकते हैं आपकी पर्सनालिटी उतना सुलझ सकती है और राइट यू वांट टू टेक अन अदर क्वेश्चन यस श्योर ओके सो जरी खालिक इज आस्किंग हाउ कैन आई कीप कंसिस्टेंट विद माय गोल बिकॉज वी वेरिएट इन आवर मूड्स हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट इज इट to i think it's a two part question how important is it to write down our goals first is how can we keep consistent with our goals because we um, our moods are variating and second is how important is is it to write down our goals okay so uh regarding to the consistency this is key in order for us to achieve our goals hmm that's the 
leave some behind a lot of uh, goals that are a failure. Um, hmm. But how we, we get that consistency? We, we've been talking uh, about be kinder to us and also when we have clear goals, we start setting our time frames better. Hmm. So let's say uh, the example of the, of the uh, language classes. Hmm. I want to learn the language and I will do it. I will go to class every day or study every day. But then I have a full-time job and I'm a mom of a toddler or I'm a single girl going to the university or I'm a mom and I have toddlers and I'm going to the university. I'm handling our house and also I want to learn the language. So we need to be clear with our goal, but also be realistic with our life, right? Hmm. We also hmm. need to manage ourselves without discipline and without a clear um, steps, we will not get anywhere. Nothing will hmm. happen magically. It's out of hmm. our effort. But some efforts are easier than others. Some things will come organically. So we need to find out the time. Maybe the only time I can learn my language is, uh, let's say, after fire prayer from five to six, because it's the time my family is sleeping and it's the only time of the day that I can fully be focused in, my, in achieving that goal. Or maybe it's late at night, or maybe it's every other day or just once a week. So we need to understand what is required for our goal and how can I adapt it to my real life and also the need. Because as you were mm -hmm. saying, um, what if I need to learn something for my job or, or just because I have to, and it has to be done in a certain period of time. One goal might be I'm building a house, uh, but the house that I'm living uh, right now, um, I don't know, it's someone else's house and I need to give back that house and move to my new house. Let's uh, take that example. So in order for hmm. me to move, that is something imminent that I cannot push back or whatever, I need to achieve what I have to achieve. So I need to give myself some cushions in between. I know I, I can talk to my landlord I say, and say, I will move out in six months or a year or whatever. So in this six months, there's a proper plan of four months and two months of cushions for us to move around. And same with the, my, my goals or losing weight. I'm going to lose mm. 10 kilos in a period of a year. So I will have to, uh, this, this time uh, is more than enough to lose those, but am I be uh, strong enough to be consistent with what I have to be consistent? Hmm. Hmm. What, okay, uh, so. Uh, uh, hmm. was what, two questions. That was one. Yeah, the second is, how important is it to write down our goals? Okay. Hmm. Uh, as I said, there's people that have amazing memory, but we hmm. cannot keep in the top of our head everything at every time. It's not like everything is available, hmm. right? So hmm. for me, hmm. it's very important to write down. It could be digitally, so you can have in your hmm. phone. And it's actually, uh, I do a lot of journaling, but I also use my phone. Sometimes I'm walking and I see something nice and I say, oh, you know what? I want to do ne the next spread with this image or a picture that I took hmm. or a quote that I heard or read or saw somewhere. So I will write it in my phone because it's my easiest tool at hand, right? Hmm. There's that fully journal digitally in their iPads or, or uh, people like me that like the feel of the paper, it has to um, be more like, it has to have uh, with the accessibility to those mm. uh, desires, dreams and goals and mm. not, I mean, you don't need to have a journal is what I'm trying to say, but those goals need to be accessible. The only way for you to know that, that something is there is for it to be visible. Like, for example, you have in your fridge food. If you're not able to see all the food, the ones in the back will uh, be damaged, right? Mm. Same with the mm. The ones in the back burner will disappear or will not matter. And we might 
lose some uh, good shots in our life to be live fuller. Hmm. Hmm. So, um, Marcel, ka, uh, 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 answer to this question, we have to write our goals for our goals. Because when we have to do all the things in one time, we can't access our mind. And we have to do all the new things in our mind. And we can't remember them. So, if you have your phone, uh, मतलब आपका जर्नल या आपको जो भी जहां पर भी ये चीज लिखनी है एक तो आपको एक्सेसिबल होना चाहिए कि आप फॉरेन से जैसे यूजुअली फोन्स आजकल हमारे होते हैं वरना आप लोगों के पास टैब्स वगैरह के अंदर जर्नल्स उन्होंने डिजिटल जर्नल्स रखे होते हैं या अगर आप एक्चुअली कोई यू नो डायरी और चीज कैरी अराउंड करने की किसी की हैबिट है सो पॉइंट पे फर्स्ट है एक्सेसिबल होनी चाहिए वो जगह कि आप वो चीज अपना जॉट डाउन कर सकें कोई आईडिया कोई ट्रिगर कोई इमोशन कुछ भी जो भी चीज है सेकंडली अगर आपने वो चीज लिखी नहीं होगी तो ज्यादा चांस है कि वो चीज आपके माइंड से स्लिप कर जाएगी गोल अभी ऐसे हो सकता है कि आप थोड़े अरसे के बाद वो आप को बिल्कुल आप ट्रैक नहीं 